a 36 volt 500 watt and 48 volt 1000 watt electric bike. Either one can be bought for $309 each. Today I'm going to show you what went into these miraculous works of art. I'm also going to show you how it does in real life and see how it stacks up for a regular daily commute. Can they handle the stress of real life? We're going to find out. My 1000 watt e-bike can achieve a top speed of 28 miles per hour for about 10 miles. Not great, but definitely could be improved if you just didn't go 30 the entire time. The 500 watt electric bike actually has a slightly longer range, but is not nearly as fast, clocking in at about 25 miles per hour. The real money saver in building an electric bike is the frame. Because my barely legal bicycle uses a frame that I got for zero dollars because the previous owner didn't want it anymore. And to be honest, I didn't trust my own work. So I had my friend Tanner discover whether or not it was capable of safely transporting human beings. And what better way to test my new invention than a 13 mile ride throughout the town, accomplishing as many tasks and trips as we can in a day. Can this electric bike fulfill my daily commute to the park to throw bread at the ducks and rocks at the children? I was intrigued, and I had to find out. What's even going on? I probably should have planned this out a little bit now. <laughs> So I'm have concerned. A lot of, uh, locations that we're planning to hit up today. Like? Um, my friend, my bro, Jaden, his house. Oh, we got to pull to Jaden? Yeah. How far does he live? A while. I'm realizing this isn't going to work <laughs> the way that I envisioned it. Yeah, this is already starting off bad. What are you this planning is... to do? What do you mean? So this is not going to work. Science. Yeah, engineer major, just take notes. Matt. Maybe if you use your pink. Yay! Why is it like to break? I'd have to. Like, I. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was my fault, but not really. I mean, I, I don't make the equipment, I just install it. But it's. I'm gonna die. Well, it's so we are on to our uh, first destination now. How how do you feel? Scared. I'm gonna bring the charger with us just in case of any emergencies on air. Um, so we'll we'll be able to refuel. Um, I'll explain later. An electric vehicle's greatest anxiety is range. When will I run out? What are the chances of death shortly after that happens? Luckily, electricity is everywhere. Did you know that Tesla has the most EV charging stations around the United States? That's cool, but that comes nowhere near the amount of potential charging locations that my electric bicycle has. With 20 billion, 633 million, 200, 25,130 potential charging stations in the United States alone. I, I, this thing doesn't have brakes. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Wait, are your brakes actually not working? trip and Tanner is just like yeeted the battery Sick. off of the bike. This is the sturdiest bike. This we, is, we updated it's already it. falling. We updated the battery. The throttle is falling off too. No, don't fully <laughs> take it off. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, now I'm going to have to do this. <laughs> oh my god. Bro, try not to die. Not this time. Hi Ruby, how you doing? Would you like to appear in this YouTube video? YouTube video? We're making a commentary about to kill me. <laughs> about riding electric bikes <laughs> instead no of driving. I just risked my life for a headband. Did I, you? Yes. I have no brakes. The battery barely works. 
Well, it's it's hanging tape. in there. It's hanging in there. I have the throttle falling off for that. For the headband. Yeah, but you got it. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Yep. I think you should switch and just show you how bad this I is. I know how bad, and I, I know so much that I'm never going to write it. Just right. So just that. Kickstand. I don't think the charger can reach that far. <laughs> and we're running out of daylight. See? Oh my god, please, no, 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 no. What? I left my gloves at home. Really? You could borrow some. I got gloves. Yeah, I have I, I have bike riding gloves. Yeah, Alright, so um, things have kind of been recharged. And I'm now tracking our route. It's really, really cold. I didn't think it could get this cold. And then like the faster you go, the colder it gets because this is an electric bike. I'm not actually like pedaling here. You know, barely doing any work at all, actually. Just yielding to traffic like a good boy. What? Did your handlebar fall off again? Oh no, is that the battery? Our goal is to get to Jaden's house, deliver this package, and then Hopefully come back home alive. So how do you feel? Uh, I could go through a near-death experience. You went through several near-death experiences. <laughs> Hey, if you want a hand warmer, though, hand warmer. Okay, so, yeah, you know what to do. So, it's been quite a few hours um, on the bikes. <laughs> we've, we've charged from destination to destination to destination. A power? That's okay. We didn't charge yours at the last one. You're gonna make it home, don't worry. Alright, we're good. Yeah, it would definitely be nicer if it wasn't as cold though. Well, we were just trying to uh, stay alive. Oh, yeah, it was a fight for survival. <laughs> Yeah, thanks. Thanks for not losing that. Yeah, sure my best. So yes, you can build a fast and functional electric bike for just a little over $300. And the quality of your experience is completely more or less dependent on how the parts were installed and the quality of the donor bike. We were able to accomplish everything that we set out to do 
even with the questionable craftsmanship behind our bicycles. So let's address the cons. Obviously, we struggled a lot with keeping the battery on the bike. It became basically a joke where initially the battery was zip tied to the bicycle. This is because the mounting holes on the donor bicycle have part of the frame blocking uh, access to the battery. The battery just can't fit. That's too bad. I'm not, I don't have the tools to cut away parts of the frame. So it was what it was. I did zip tie it. I don't regret it. Nothing major really went bad until, well, of course, well, it fell off. But I think it's a great example of some of the setbacks that you'll face if you do try to take on your own e-bike build. Nothing is going to be perfect, not usually. For the 1000 watt e-bike, my battery and controller are enclosed in the Xbox Series X inspired controller box, which I boldly constructed out of plastic and duct tape. Anywhere I could save money, I did. And I'm glad that what I built not only works, but has proven itself to be reliable and somewhat safe.